Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at a story about a gym teacher from New York being fired for playing Fortnite with his students. The story has a lot to it so we're going to go ahead and go into it in depth and uh, I guess at that point I mean you can kind of formulate your opinion on it however you want to. Kind of a peculiar headline, wasn't really expecting to see something like that today but I mean with the popularity of Fortnite just growing and becoming just pretty much a global phenomenon I mean at some point we probably were going to see something like this anyways. Regardless let's go ahead and get into the story story guys. So a Brooklyn teacher was having trouble finding a way to have his students pay more attention in class when he started to implement a games for grades program that would allow students to play Fortnite with the teacher in return for good grades. Brett Belsky was a gym teacher at a Brooklyn school and began to notice that his students grades were declining while the children's interest in Fortnite began to increase. Belsky was a fan of Fortnite himself and thought of an idea to offer students with good grades the opportunity to play the battle royale game with their teacher on Xbox Live. The teacher put his Xbox Live Live gamer tag on the board for students to write down. So I'm going to be honest, thus far into the story, I think most of us are going to agree that this is a little bit ridiculous. Not that the teacher implemented a program to play games with the students if they did well in class, but that there was actually backlash towards this. Now I understand that they want to prevent the students and the teachers from having contact outside of school. That way things don't happen where kids are like getting banged by their teachers and, and just, you know, ignorant things, especially at like 11 and 12, which is how old the students were in question. So I understand understand they're trying to kid keep the kids safe, but at the same time, you have to understand that he wasn't really doing anything wrong here, and that this program was probably pretty effective in the first place, so the fact that they actually are mad about this is still ridiculous. Belsky was quoted as saying, as a teacher, you reach out the best that you can. These kids talk about video games. I said, if you can get this work done, maybe I'll play against you. In March 2018, Belsky played about 20 minutes of Fortnite with two students ages 11 and 12, while the 11-year-old mentioned the gaming session to his parents. The 11-year-old's parents then went to the school board the next day by reporting the gaming session to the school's principal. Belsky was subsequently reassigned to the DOE rubber room in April and then was fired later in the fall of 2018. Not sure what a rubber room is. I'm assuming it's some sort of punishment for the teachers, but basically 20 minutes of Fortnite with two kids who started to perform well in his class got him fired. I mean, let's call this for what this is. This teacher basically was fired because he tried to resonate with his kids, tried to actually get them to do well in their class. Which, I mean, when you look at it that way, I don't see an, I don't see a problem at all with him playing games with these kids, especially if it was for like 20 minutes. It wasn't any like excessive play. They weren't playing for like eight hours a day or anything. Honestly, 20 minutes of Fortnite is probably one full game, okay? You, you pretty much, if you won that game, that was basically how much he played. He played pretty much one game with them if they lived all the way through, but if they died, it might have been like two, maybe three games if they were dying literally the moment they landed in. So he didn't play like an excessive amount, so I don't really see a problem here. I understand, like I said, that they don't want kids, you know, interacting with teachers outside of school and things like that, but he wasn't interacting with them in a negative way, okay? I, I know they try and they try and spin these video games into being a negative interaction in any way that they possibly can because children, believe it or not, have interests that aren't school books, but I think that this was actually a great idea by this teacher, and I have to say that maybe if more teachers had implemented things like this, maybe kids would be doing better in school. Because regardless of what happens, those kids are going to be more interested in the video games than they're going to be in their classwork. That's just how children work. Kids are not going to come to school and be enthralled by being sat in these prison-like classrooms for seven hours a day, not being able to talk, not being able to be creative, not being able to actually be children, and basically being yelled at by these teachers who don't get paid enough, who already hate their job, and then have to go home and on top of that do more homework. You're, you're not going to get kids excited for that. The American school system just doesn't work. So I think the teacher understood that. I think he understood that these kids were just simply not interested in gym class they were interested in video games more and what was the thing that he decided to do did he decide to basically leave the children behind and let them fail the class did he just let them sit there and suffer through his class no he implemented a program that actually catered to their interests which is something you hardly ever see from teachers you barely ever see teachers who actually take their children's interest into account and he actually rewarded these kids for doing well in class it wasn't like he was just playing with them willy-nilly you know what I'm saying he wasn't just out here playing with them at random the deal specifically was that if the kids who already had declining grades did better in class that he would play their favorite video game with them.
He wasn't banging them. He wasn't getting pictures of them or anything like that. He was playing a, a, ch a children's video game with them. At the end of the day, what he wasn't playing, you know, Resident Evil or something with them. He was playing Fortnite with them. So when you look at it like that, the teacher basically got fired because instead of letting the kids suffer like most school systems would allow, he actually catered to their interests. He got them excited to come to class. He actually got them to have a positive turnaround. And then he played 20 minutes of video games with two of the class members and that was basically how he got fired okay because the parents of this kid actually got mad and, and here's my thing okay if you're the parent of a kid who's failing his class aren't you going to be mad that your child is failing that class in the first place obviously most parents aren't just going to be like oh wow i'm really glad that my child is failing his physical education class that's not really a mentality that i think most parents directly hold even though a lot of parents just simply don't care about their children and how they perform in school but then when the teacher steps in on behalf of you because it's pretty apparent that these parents weren't doing anything at home i mean let's be honest the kid was failing his classes and he was still going home and playing fortnite so it wasn't like the parents were actually stepping up and doing their job in the first place so when the teacher steps up on behalf of you which honestly isn't even really his job it's something that he did out of the kindness of his heart because he wants to see his students succeed and he plays video games with your kid after he has a positive turnaround in class then you all of a sudden get get a boot up your ass and you go to the school board and get this guy fired this is exactly what's wrong with the education system and with parents in our country okay parents don't want to hold themselves responsible for anything parents don't want to hold their children accountable they don't want to punish them they don't want them to actually succeed but of course they claim the success when their child does succeed because oh my god little billy made honor Role. But on top of that, when someone else steps in on behalf of them and actually benefits their child, then parents actually get a boot up their ass and they get mad about it. And I just simply don't understand it. If you're not going to put in the time at home to get your kids grade up by taking the game away from him, you know, doing something at home that actually makes him want to go to school and perform, don't get pissed when a teacher intervenes and does something about it. Don't get pissed when the school intervenes and does something about it. And then the education system, like I said, they, they don't really care to see students and succeed if it means that they do it in a non-conventional way if a teacher does something outside a class with them obviously they can get fired for it even if it's something as nonchalant and innocent as playing Fortnite for like one match with these kids so this teacher who came up with a creative way to benefit his students and impacted them in a positive way was fired because parents got upset. Going forward, the special commissioner of investigation for the New York City School District suggested that the school clearly explains in the social media guidelines to students and teacher to make sure that teacher and student gaming is strictly prohibited. That's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. I had never seen anything in our school guidelines or anything, even in the social media guidelines where it said that we couldn't play video games outside of school with one another. And at that point, it's not really the school's business in my opinion. The school should only be enforcing shit when it comes down to that square of the campus that the school takes place at when it comes to what someone does in their own house okay under their parents supervision may i add because obviously they live with their parents that is no longer the school's concern unless someone gets hurt okay the teacher did not hurt this kid the parents were apparently fine with him playing the game and there was a positive turnout so that that has nothing to do with the school the school should not be enforcing anything in this situation belsky was quoted also as saying this game is insanely popular with them i have to figure out a way to reach these kids to get them to do their work i love what i do i am a good teacher from what it sounds like to me i have to agree he loves what he does and he is a good teacher because well what good teacher would ever go this far out of their way to help their students? Belsky did admit that he should have spoken with higher ups before implementing the Games for Grades program, which, I mean, yeah, he probably could have. Let's be honest, he probably could have spoke to somebody about that. Maybe a special exception could have been made, but at the end of the day, I don't think this was a serious enough infraction to have somebody fired, especially when they actually do their job so well and care enough about the children to actually make this kind of turnout for him. He said that he will be appealing the firing and was just trying to connect with the younger generation, so that's good news. I'm glad that he's going to be appealing this ruling because obviously I don't agree with him being fired and I think that honestly most of us don't agree with him being fired in the first place I don't know about you guys but I had a couple teachers who stuck who actually stepped in for me in a couple different situations when my grades started to decline because I didn't want to do anything but play video games and my parents were completely fine with that they I mean we never played video games together or anything but in middle school I did have a couple teachers who stepped in and actually intervened to try and help me out a little bit and that actually helped me out in the long run because had they not I probably would not 
not have learned that personal responsibility of needing to get your shit done, of needing to get your work done before you enjoy things. Luckily enough, I, I have a career now where I can actually work and enjoy at the same time, so that's great, but I can't imagine had I never gotten that heads up from the teachers and then went and worked in like a factory that I hated because I would have been fired within a couple weeks. Sometimes it takes a teacher to step in and help. Okay, and I'm a personal, I'm a personal attestant to that really, because it helped me out in the long run. And I know that it's helped plenty, millions of other kids out that aren't me, okay? So I personally don't see the big deal here. And on top of that, I have played video games with my teachers in class before. We didn't play them outside of class, but we have played in class before. Usually before like the day on before winter break or whatever, you know, after everything was finished and stuff, we would play, well, when I went to computer programming school in junior year, we played Halo Combat Evolved, we had a uh, personal build from our previous class that we had played on that last day. We had a bunch of snacks and stuff, and it was a good time. Those kinds of things, I would say, encouraged us to have fun in the class, encouraged us to get our work done, because we knew, hey, maybe we get to play some more Halo if we do things right. And in that class, oftentimes, I had my work done halfway through the class. It was usually about 90 to 100 minutes. Towards the end of the day, which we had lab, I had my stuff done usually within like 40 minutes. The rest of the day, I just got to just mess around. I played around in Photoshop. We played video games like Minecraft together on LAN. It was awesome. I think things where teachers actually reach into your interests definitely help. And I think that it's ridiculous that a teacher got fired for that. More ridiculous though, is that the parents were upset that somebody did something for their kid because they wouldn't, okay? So I think there's a couple different morals that we can take from this. Parents need to do better jobs of getting their kids ready to go to school at home and actually get them interested in learning. And if they're not, you can't let them sit around and play video games all day and then get mad when the teacher intervenes by actually appealing to their interests because you won't. Teachers should not be getting fired for things like this. It was harmless, it was innocent, and at the end of the day, it actually helped. So I would say there's a positive correlation. I mean, kids' grades were going down while the interest in Fortnite was going up. Teacher gets interested in Fortnite with the kids, grades go up. Anyways, let me know what you think about this whole situation down below in the comments. I'd love to read what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching this video though, guys. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. We've been doing great on the channels recently, obviously. The gaming channel just hit, I think, 16,000 subscribers today if I'm not mistaken. Keep in mind, just a month ago, it was at like 1,000, so blowing up again, it, it feels pretty good. But this channel's been doing great as well, guys. Thank you to everybody who's been subscribing and enjoying the content recently. Follow me over on Twitter at sub to optimus I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. It is also a surefire way to get brand new notifications of all my newest content. Join the Discord down below. Lots of great things going on there. You also get live updates on all my newest content there. Thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps my channel tremendously. If you'd like to become a channel, a channel, a channel member and help support my content, you can do so by hitting that join button down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus getting fired for playing Fortnite and signing out.